All right, let's learn section 4.3. There's two items in 4.3. The first one is greatest common divisor. I like calling it greatest common factor, but you'll see different ones in different books. These are the three methods for finding the greatest common divisor or factor, and we'll learn each method. Let me give you some examples of the first method, set intersection method for greatest common divisor or greatest common factor. The set intersection method is listing all the divisors. So I need to find the factors of 24 and 27. Let's list them out. First, we'll start with 24. 1 times 24 is 24. 2 times 12 is 24. 3 divides into 24 eight times. And we continue on. Does 4 divide into 24? Yes, six times. Does 5 divide into 24? No, so I won't write it down. And then I'm already at 6 again. In fact, I only need to go up to square root of 24. The square root of 24 is a little less than 5, because you know 5 times 5, that's 25. So the square root of 24 is a little less than 5. I only need to go up to 4, checking the factors of 24. So I know I have all the factors of 24 listed. Let's look at the factors of 27. 1 times 27. 2 doesn't work because 27 is not even. 3 is a factor of 27. 3 times 9, those are both factors. And I'll check 4. It's not a divisor. 5 is not a divisor. In fact, I only have to go up to the square root of 27, checking my numbers. The square root of 25 is 5, so the square root of 27 is about 5.1. I only have to go up to 5, checking my factors. So I know I have all the factors listed now for 27. This is how we find the greatest common divisor. What's the greatest common factor. What's the greatest factor they have in common? 3. They both have a 3. 3 is the greatest common divisor between those two numbers. Let's do another example. Let's find the greatest common factor between 140 and 175. So we'll list in a set all the factors of 140, and we'll list all the factors of 175. This takes a while, and you might like another method better, but here we go. 140 is 1 times 140. 2 goes into 140 70 times. Does 3 divide into 140? Here's how you check. 1 plus 4 plus 0 is 5. That's not divisible by 3, so 3 is not a divisor. 4 is a divisor. It goes in 35 times. 5 is a divisor. We know that because it ends in a 0 or a 5. 5 times 28 equals 140. 7 times 20. 10 times 14. I'm speeding up a little. You can check the divisors on a calculator but I would like you to know the test for divisibility. 175 has divisors, and I'll go a lot faster. 1 times 175, it's not even, 2 doesn't work. 1 plus 7 plus 5 is 13, that's not divisible by 3, so 3 doesn't work. 4 doesn't work, but 5 times 35 is 175. And I know that 7 times 25 equals 175. In fact, I only have to go up to the square root of 175, checking my numbers. Square root of 169 is 13, so I only have to go up to 13 when I'm checking divisors. So I need to check 10, 11, 12, and see if they divide into 175. So I'm sure now I have all the divisors in both numbers written down. What do they have in common? Sure a 5, sure a 7, 
but the biggest number they have in common is 35. 35 is the greatest common, I'll put it down here, greatest common divisor between 140 and 175. Let me stop here and in a different video show you the other methods.